Review at VCM. Okay, let's get on with this very quick review. Also, I'm just going to shout out again to Charlie and the team at Tacom for sending me this model. I played a very tiny little part in it, uh, not even worth mentioning. Anyways, SAN7, SAN12, two in one. And the two in one is actually these two types of missiles. So this is a ship-based um, surface to air missile system. As usual, TACOM lays out your sprues on the side and you can see that they've done a few of these. Oh, the question remains, will there be a massive 135th scale ship? I don't think so. Okay, well, we'll get inside the box. One, two, three, four bags of sprue and the instruction book. Let's open them up and have a look. I think we'll kick off with the instructions. There's a description of what it is. I'll put this um, inside the uh, video description, okay? Sprue layout again. You can see, obviously, there's not that much to it. Uh, start assembly launcher, lots of details and bits and pieces like that. You've got an option here as well. It actually gives you the option. You can use photo etch or you can use plastic parts for the uh, grill type walkways. There are some quite small details and bits and pieces, but uh, including the handrail, handrails, mo uh, multiple components. And another optional you can use again Grill it can be plastic or photo etch, so it gives you the option there. By stage 11, it's starting to look like the frame of the launcher. By 12, here's your options, okay, between the missiles. So you can choose between the uh, 7 and the 12. I think the 12 is the one with the conduit on this one here. Then by 13, 14, you assemble the missile to the launcher. Then those parts sandwich together. You assemble the base and it's all done. That's it. Really straightforward. Uh, as usual with TACOM, paint callouts are ammo of MIG, but we can work out what they are because it's got description, white, green, steel, etc. So there's the SAN7. It's got um, two paint callouts. The 12 has got one callout. And for the launcher itself, there's two paint descriptions. Seems to be some variation there, but I think they're just gray launchers. There we are, should be straightforward. Let's have a look at the plastic now. Okay, we're starting off looking at sprue C, I think it is. There you can see the sides of the launchers there. Lots of small details, all these little handles and bits and pieces like that. They look like the fins for the missiles. And of course, we've got these guardrails. There's a few pieces on there. And there's some slide molded parts. If you want to know where the slide molded parts are, they need to have a opening there so that the mold can slide in. So there's those two parts. I, I gather they're part of the rocket. Okay, that's sprue. A few parts on there. Next one is some details and basically the base. You can look at all the nice, uh, nice rivet bolt details on the parts. This is sprue D and they can see sort of the main supports for the launcher itself and of course another part of the base there as well and then the final plastic sprue is the 7 and the 12 and I think the 12 is the one with the conduit on i.e. this one that's got some very nice fine detail on them of course build up both of them I think you might be able to interchange between them there's the handrail Looks pretty good, should be straightforward, quite easy to build. Okay, here's the photo etch. Ah, my mistake as well, I thought there was alternative plastic and PE. No, they're both PE, there's just two different styles of grill mesh, so there isn't any plastic alternatives. You need to use the photo etch to detail it. You can see, yep, quite nice detail, fine and dandy for the kit. And then finally, the tiny, and I mean very, very small, water transfer sheet just open that up so it's just got the markings on there they are okay that's the review nothing else to say i think we're going to build this one up real quick and see you soon